Did you see this? Shell just sent Starship 2.0 across the country, California, to Jacksonville, Florida. And they got over 10 miles to the gallon. But did you read the article? What is the real problem in there that surprised everybody? Hey, where's, you know, the thing? The thing. Hello, and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark, your intergalactic host. Shell has a truck called Starship that drove across the country. And they are trying to show all the, uh, of course, Shell lubricants was in all of it. They mentioned that. But how good a fuel mod you can get. The whole side of it's covered. The front of it's covered. I'll see if I can find a non-copyrighted picture of it. I may or may not be able to do that. So I'll link the article in the, the description. But anyhow, it got over 10 miles to the gallon, pulling 47,100 pounds. Now, it can do that because it's so light. The thing it didn't say is, what kind of speed did they go? I mean, we can all get great mods going 50 miles an hour. So I'd like to see, instead of real world testing, I'd like to know if it was actually real world. To me, that would mean at least 65 miles an hour. That would be fleet speed at least. The real thing about the article was, it mentioned the average average uh, mile per gallon a truck gets in the United States is 6.4. Really? 6.4? Are people really still rolling around in the sixes out there? I, heart, I can't believe any fleet would be. It's got to be either smaller, uh, you know, companies with, uh, you know, just dozens of trucks or less or independent owner operators who, of course, there ain't no feeling like Peter Mobilin. So these long nosers out there getting 6.4. I just thought it was really something that the average is 6.4. So there are people getting five. Are there still people getting five? <laughs> no, and the whole average is 6.4. So no wonder people are griping about not making any money at five miles to the gallon. I'll put up here on the screen the cost of fuel at five miles per gallon versus eight miles per gallon over 100,000 miles and see that you can just buy another truck every few years here just from the fuel savings. It's really incredible. So I find it hard to believe that people are still getting really, really low mileage when it isn't that hard to certainly get seven plus miles per gallon just by buying a reasonable truck. I understand it may not have 14,000 chicken lights on it and a 17 foot long hood, you know, but, but you don't make any more money per mile using that kind of truck. So the Starship is there, possibly driven by Sarah. Get it, get it. We'll be back soon with another Trucking Answers.